This brings us to the end of Unit 7 on Linear Temporal Logic. We have seen how to form formulas in LTL that was done in Module 1 called Syntax of LTL. We gave a grammar, a grammar is a set of rules and using these rules you could form complicated LTL formulas. The basic ones are x and u. Using these x and u's and atomic propositions and and not you could form interesting formulas. We have seen many examples. Secondly in module 2 we saw what is the set of words associated with each LTL formula. Each LTL formula specifies a property and we have seen that a property is a set of infinite words. In module 2 we gave a precise definition as to what this set words of phi is. Finally in module 3 we saw an example of a puzzle that can be solved using LTL module setting. In particular this was a planning problem and we used new SMV to solve this planning problem. Most important thing that you need to remember are the operators G, F, X and U. Usually properties that need to be checked do not involve complicated nestings of them as long as you understand the basic concepts of G, F, X and U and the grammar for forming LTL formulas this will help you specify properties that you want to check on systems. In the next week we will see the algorithms that are used to check LTL formulas on transition systems. Here we will need Yushi Automata. See you next week with a different set of lectures.